Hello and welcome to Steph Into Christmas, my 12 indie brands of Christmas. Today we are on number 9. I don't know where all the numbers have gone. Um, this is Island Play Cosmetics. Um, they're a UK indie brand but with a real Caribbean vibe. I love them and the owner is such a sweetheart. Um, that is Giselle. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And yeah, I love the product, so I couldn't do 12 Indie Brands of Christmas without Island Play Cosmetics. So guys, if you would like to see how I created this look and hear a little bit more, then just keep on watching. Ooh. Okay, so I think I am going to first go in with Fulani. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but... So yeah, Island Play Cosmetics. I have all three of the palettes and the Reggae Mar has been a real kind of favourite in my collection just since I got it. The brand owner, uh, Giselle, is just so nice. I feel like I'm saying this in all of these videos, but I am more inclined to support a brand with great products that is run by an amazing person or amazing people. And you usually find that with the, uh, the indie brands. And yeah, Giselle's no exception. She is lovely and I am super excited to be playing with this. This blue is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I've taken it on an Altitude Cosmetics brush. It's a, a fairly fluffy one, kind of medium size. Oh, oh this is so pretty. Oh, look at that. So yeah, Island Play Cosmetics, whilst being a UK indie brand, they are kind of Caribbean culture themed, um, even says on the inside, on the top of the mirror. So rich Caribbean culture. And I think their products really do, really do represent that. And yeah, like I said, the Reggae Mar palette has been a favourite since getting it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And just going by this blue because I could have done um, a separate video doing a first impression of this. But I, I had a really strong inkling I was going to love it. So I wanted to kind of show it off sooner. Um, and also I do have another one of these which I will be giving away at my Christmas party on the 29th of December. Just want to share the Christmas love. This is beautiful. I'm building it up a little bit right down in the crease although actually ooh. okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to use the same brush i've just kind of dusted it off my hand um i'm going to go into mask the purple because i think that is going to look amazing in the crease yeah i thought so oh look at that Now that colour has pigment. Okay, this is beautiful. And blending in beautifully. And then again, I'm just going to kind of wipe off that same brush and go back into Filani the blue. 
and then I'm going to use a little bit just to blend them back together and then kind of smoke it out blend it out just so it's a nice smooth blend Okey pokey, right, I'm just taking a Spectrum A12 and I'm going to go back into mask and I'm going to really concentrate that right in the crease here and up and out. I'm going to bring it down onto the edge of the lid there. Yeah, and just kind of flicking it out because so I can clean that all up and then back in with a bit of Fulani again blue right I am aware that this is looking a little crazy right now but it will all come together nicely I promise trust the process always trust the process I'm going to take this uh, P. Louise 2 Lost in My Blend 117 brush and I'm going to go into Drum, the brown, and I'm just going to use that just to deepen up right in this outer V. That is working perfectly, look at that. Alright, and then just using that same brush, I'm going to dip into mask the uh, purple. And I'm just going to go over it a little bit just to make sure that we haven't lost the purple in there. I'm loving how that's looking. So I'm going to quickly um, pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then I'll come back to continue. So stay where you are. Okay, so for the outer part, I am going in with Parade. Really beautiful purple shimmer. I'm just going to paste that right over here on the... Oh, look at that. On the outer... Outer part, look at that. Oh, that is one beautiful shimmer. I'm not being careful, so I'm getting fallout, but I just want to pack this on because this is just stunning. Look. At that. Marina's going to love this purple, I know that much. <laughs> that is stunning. It's stunning. Right, what do I want to, what do I want to do? These, oh look at them. Oh, okay. Oh, I really want to go with this real silver. <sighs> yep, we're going with the silver. So I'm just taking this brush from Lois Cosmetics, little flat one, and I'm going into Treasure. This just, wow, they all look stunning. This is pretty. There we go. I think we just made the look Christmassy. 
colourful Christmas. Like Christmas tree baubles. Dragging it into the purple. Oh my god. Oh, I am getting a lot of fallout. Um, but I am literally packing my brush. I'm not tapping it off at all. I'm just whacking it all on my eyes because that's what I feel like doing. I love it. Right, I am going to go back into mask the pink. Pink, purple, pinky purple. It looks more pink now it's next to that purple. And I'm just going to really re-intensify that. And then kind of bring that over the edge of the shimmers. And just back in with the brush that is the purple shimmer. And just kind of dabbing back over the line between the two. Ooh. Okay guys, so I'm going to head off, clean up this mess, pop on my base and then we'll come back to do the lower lash line. So just stay where you are. Okay, so I've cleaned up, put my base on and now we are going with under eyes. Hmm, what do I want to do? Hmm. thinking of going kind of blue and green or just green should I go for a full shimmer lower line I think I'm going to actually I think that is what I want to do so I am first going in with African the kind of olivey green shimmer I'm taking that on a Jessup 226 smudger brush and I'm going to stamp that right on this outer part here oh okay that's pretty oh I like that I'm trying to use as many as I can honestly as well because when I try palette I like to try kind of a, a variety of what it offers and because I'm trying to get through these 12 indie brands of Christmas I have I have. I don't have the time to do more than one look straight away. So I'm just really wanting to just kind of try out everything or as much as I can. And I'm just dragging it kind of up and into the outer part there a bit. Oh, okay, right. I am now taking a Morphe M149 and I am going into, oh, what am I going into? I'm going to go in with, yes, is it Troop or Troupe? I'm not sure. I'm going in with that one. It looks beautiful. So I'm going to start placing that here. Oh, okay, this is pretty. That is pretty. I'm going to take the smudger brush and just kind of smudge the outer area a bit more. Oh, I like that a lot. A lot. Right. Now, in a corner right okay now I've I'm just going for it I'm just going to go for it right so I'm taking a Zoeva 230 Lux pencil and I'm going into Waltz which is this pink shimmer here and tapping off and then that I am oh yes that is stunning. Packing it on a bit because we want it to stand out. That is so pretty. Just kind of 
dragging it into the lid slightly and under slightly. Oh, I love this. This is beautiful. And just because I want to continue using this palette, <laughs> um, I'm going to take Treasure just a tiny bit on this Jessup 237 Detail Shader. Just the tiniest bit, and I'm going to see. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, guys, I am just. I'm living for this look. So I'm going to quickly nip off, finish my face, come back, show you the finished look. So if you would like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'm super happy with it and just super in love with this palette. Masquerade, perfect. Perfect name for it. And these shades, oh my god, just look at those. I used quite a few. I don't think I did too bad. Um, everything that I have on my face will be listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to. There's a couple of things that I will tell you and that is the eyeliner I have on is one of the Tropic Fruit Aqualiners um, from Island Play Cosmetics and this one is Green Banana look at that so i've got the lighter green on the inner part and then the darker green on the outer part of the wing um i love these i'm a huge fan of ultra activated liners if you didn't know this already so the lip duo i have on is the soka bright liquid lipstick and liner these are bashment purple i think this looks perfect with this look I was hoping it would because it's the only lipstick I have from them so yeah perfect so yeah if you want to check out anything from Island Play Cosmetics you will find their website linked in the description box below um, they're a wonderful brand I, I highly recommend them especially the Reggae Mar palette and the Masquerade palette now beautiful um, so yes that is that's us done for today so thank you so much for spending this time with me if you've liked this video please do give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you are new and you love colorful makeup supporting indie brands and um, finding cruelty free brands then hit the subscribe button because all of that happens on this channel so come join us for the ride so yeah i hope all of you are having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.